Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint the background on your fish tank. Uh, I do it to all my tanks. I've always done it to all my tanks uh, ever since I, I watched a video on how to do it. I've been doing it ever since. So, first thing you're going to need is glass cleaner to clean the glass and obviously a paper towel to clean the tank with. Then you're going to need a roller, a paint roller. I got this at the 99 cent store for the whole, for both these, for the, the tray and the roller itself. I've used this same roller on probably 10 tanks. My mom's 100 gallon tank, my 110, a few 29s, a few 10s, a 5 gallon. This 20 long I'm about to paint here. So um, as long as you rinse out the, the sponge after each use, it'll last you a long time. And for 99 cents, can't go wrong. And the, and then the paint itself. Uh, the only thing that's, the most important thing with paint, the paint that you use, is that it's acrylic paint. As long as it's acrylic, go crazy. I, I did get my paint at uh, the local um, the local hobby store or uh, arts and crafts store. Those are 99 cents each. Obviously bigger tanks will need more paint, but other than that, this is what you need to paint it. And let me reset and I'll show you how to do it. All right guys, I'll be right back. All right, so like I mentioned in the intro, this is the tank I'm gonna be painting, the, the back of my 20 long. And uh, so I already prepped the glass. I just sprayed a little bit of the glass cleaner on the paper towel. Don't spray it on the glass because you might get something in your tank. Uh, so spray, spray it on the paper towel and just give it a good cleaning on the back. Um, so like I said, just uh, get some paint. Get some paint on there. And with the substrate being as, as banked up as highly as it is on mine, on this tank, it doesn't really matter how low you go, especially you don't have to worry about the bottom too much. And I found, I've painted quite a few tanks, so I found that three coats is, uh, three coats gets, gets it looking its best. Any more than that is just a waste, any less than that. You'll have some holes in the paint where light will show through, especially if you have uh, something behind your tank that produces light, like a lamp or something from another room. But another thing I found also is that if you leave the paint to dry just on its own, it, it takes too long and the, the paint on the roller starts to dry. So uh, what I do is I use a, a blow dryer to make it dry faster. Like I said, otherwise you have to clean the, clean the brush between each coat. But that's all it takes for the first coat. The first coat is always going to look like crap just because the, the paint is so slippery on the glass. So... Don't worry too much about what the first coat looks like. The second coat and third coat will really polish it off. And especially with this tank being a rimless tank, it, it's a lot easier. If your tank has a rim on it, um, use a little paintbrush to get up in the in the crevices by the um, by the rim. That'll make it look really nice. But like I said, this tank doesn't have a rim. It makes it really easy. And that's about all I'm gonna do on here. So um, I'm not gonna make you guys make you guys sit through all three coats, but. That's the the first coat. Let me uh, do the other three coats, and I'll sh I'll show you the finished product. All right, guys, stay tuned. So there it is, all done. I got the tank turned back around now, and the light back on the tank. Um, so it went pretty smooth. Didn't have any problems. I've done it quite a few times. So I, before I end this video, I just want to go over really quickly why I think painting your tank is better than either uh, no background, construction paper background, or buying a store bought background. Um, my biggest beef is tanks that don't have backgrounds. In my mind, I would never set up a tank without a background. Um, I just you need something to hide the wires. You're always gonna have you're always gonna have wires or something that needs to be hidden. Um, also, a lot of times walls have nicks and scratches and stuff in it. It's just in my mind, it's just not very vis visually appealing. So I always put a background on my tank. Um, I don't like construction paper. Before I started painting tanks, I did use construction paper. They're cheap, you know, I get go to Walmart and get 99 cent construction paper and just tape it to the back. And the two things I don't like about that is number one, you have tape that you can see on the side of the tank that holds the, the paper on. And number two is if they ever get wet, um, they kind of they fade and you can see a big water spot. So that's also not very good looking. And with store-bought backgrounds, is they're expensive. If I were to have bought a, ta uh, a background for this tank, it probably would cost somewhere in $10, somewhere in there. And uh, those also have tape that you get to see. And when water gets behind those, if they're like the, the, the laminated paper, uh, water will dry between the background and the tank and you'll be able to see water spots. So that's not very visually pleasing. 
uh, painting a tank fixes all those things. No tape, no water spots, and it can't get wet. And uh, well, it gets wet, but then it just dries and it looks just as good as ever. So in my mind, painting is the only way to go. I've been doing it on a lot of my tanks. It's, I'll continue to do it. Um, so I definitely want to thank you for watching. I hope I, um, I hope I inspired you to paint your next tank, or if not the one you already have. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to get back to me and I'll do my best to answer any of your questions. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.